uh, I parted ways with Global Technology and, and went on COBRA. And, um, but that's a reality For check, folks by the way. who really don't pay attention to the amount of money that their corporations are spending on, on them for health care, all it takes is going off. And if you've got a good plan that's got all the bells and whistles and you look at that COBRA bill, you just go, whoa, are you serious? This is how much I have to pay? So you, so you don't want to do that for too long, you know? So um, I, I did the route that I thought I was supposed to do. I worked through my local chamber of commerce. I was uh, located in Allen Park at the time, very active with the Southern Wayne County Regional Chamber, which is a very large chamber. And their uh, approach was to partner you up with um, people who are chamber members and who are brokers, basically agents, and that you get a discount for being a chamber member. So I thought that would be perfect. Did that, worked with one of the guys who I knew from the chamber board and thought everything was fine, you know, found a, you know, a plan that was going to work for me. And I thought it was all done, covered, tons of paperwork, went through all that, left on vacation and went overseas. There, was, there were health risks assessed. It seemed like every time I turned around, there was another round there of paperwork. questions about every aspect of your, of your health. There's family histories. There were... Um, you know, just all the generic paperwork that you'd need to, to sign up for any kind of a plan. It just seemed like every time I turned around, there was more paperwork uh, or they were asking more questions. Um, but we thought we had the right plan, you know, and I left, you know, thinking everything was fine, literally got back. And the next day, my other plan was going to end and my new one should have started. And the agent said, oh, my gosh, I've been looking for you, trying to reach you. They've rejected you. And I said, what do you mean they rejected me? And he, he said, they're rejecting you for pre-existing conditions. I said, what pre-existing conditions? You know, I was, I was healthy. And, and, uh, and they said, uh, he, he said, well, two key things. I had had about a six-month stretch where I was fighting plantar fasciitis, which I had from playing too much tennis. Mm. So here I was getting the exercise you'd think somebody would be excited about. And, and had a prescription for that and had a brace thing that I used at night and stuff for that. And the other item was migraines. And I had been experiencing migraines related to hormones. I was at the beginning of menopause and I had a prescription for migraines. And those were their reasons for rejecting me for health care. And I was appalled. I just could not believe it. I said, what are my options? And he said, go back to Blue Cross. And uh, I quickly called Blue Cross back. They said, you know, you're supposed to end tomorrow. You know, drive us a check over and, and we'll keep you going and you're fine.